Number 57. Write conversion factors as ratios for the number of A, yards in one meter. And then we have B and C, but let's do A first. So I'm going to just write out A, B, and then I'll put C down here. Okay, so the first thing that we have to figure out is what do they mean by a ratio? Well, in math, maths, if you're from Europe, or chem, there's, there's basically two types of ratios, right? One is where you have a, we'll say a unit with the colon and then another unit. That would be classified as a ratio where you're saying one dozen is in a ratio or equal to 12 eggs. So that would be a ratio. But also you can put the unit on top of the other unit, and that would be classified as a ratio as well. So in my case with the dozen and eggs, I could say one dozen equals 12 eggs. Now for chemistry, this one is the one that you're going to be working with all the time, the one with the fraction. We could call it a fraction, but just know that it's a ratio. So think of this as this line, this fraction line, quote unquote, means equal. And that's what a ratio is all about. It's something equals something else. So now we just have to find out that ratio, the two units that will equal each other, and they want for A, yards in one meter. Now for ratios, you have to be super specific because the way that they say them is how they want it written. Now, do you see how they say yards first and then comes one meter? So if I say that, yard in one meter, I'm just going to label M as meter, that means that this yard has to be first, aka on the top, and the one meter has to be second, aka on the bottom. So I have my start to my ratio. I have my fraction, right, my division symbol, but it means equal to, and the yard has to go on the top, and the meter, I'll write it, M-E-T-E-R, has to go on the bottom. But now I have to find out, well, what are these numbers? That's when we go to our handy dandy common conversion factors. And we have to find out what, how many yards equals how many meters. So in this case, here I'm looking for it in the length section because yards and meters are lengths. And I see here, one meter equals 1.0936 yards. And they're already telling me how many yards are in one meter. One meter is 1.0936 yards. So 1.0936 yards is equal to, we use that ratio, one meter. Box that answer off. That's your first answer. That's how you would write the ratio between yards in one meter. Letter B. Liters in one liquid quart. So we got to be super specific. They said liters first, which means that that goes on the top, and one liquid quart goes on the bottom. So I'm going to start my ratio. Liters has to be on top because they said it first. And I'll say liquid quart, QT, <laughs> QT, on the bottom. Um, so now let's go to our conversion factor. Let's see. I know that liters and quarts, they're definitely volumes. So it's probably going to be in the second column. And it's right here. One liter equals 1.0567 quarts. And they set it up perfect for us. They wanted one liquid quart. But now here, it's 1.0567 quarts equals one liter. But now let's see. If I just look at the next one down... One quart equals 0.094635 liters. So these are equivalent to each other, but it just depends on which one you want one of. Do you want one liter or do you want one quart? QT. In this case, we wanted one liter. Oh, sorry, in this case, we wanted one quart. So we're going to use the second one. So the one quart goes on the bottom, and this number, 0 0.94635, would go on the top. 0 0.94635 liters equals, use the ratio, one liquid quart. 
Now, liquid, quart, they don't put liquid here because it's just signifying that it's a volume, right? Liquids are in terms of volume. So that's all that's for B. Cross it off, box it off, and you're done with that one. So these are good. Next, pounds in one kilogram. All right, so this one, they want pounds first, so pounds has to be on top in one kilogram. So they're setting up the ratio for you. So I'm going to write my ratio here. Pounds are set first, so pounds are up top. Now just know that pounds is equivalent to LBS. So pounds is the same thing as LBS. And on the bottom we have kilogram. Kilogram. And just know that kilogram is KG. My initials. But that's besides the point. All right, so now let's see. Pounds and kilogram is a specific type of mass. So we would be looking at the third category. And they want one kilogram. Oh, look here. One kilogram equals 2.2046 pounds. So a pound is roughly a little bit more than two times a kilogram. So that's the numbers that we're going to write down here. They told us one kilogram. We wanted one kilogram. So one goes on the bottom here. And 2.2046 right here goes right here, 2.2046 pounds. And LB is pound. That's how I know to use this one. That's it for this. Box this off. And those are all your answers. Now, knowing how to use these conversion factors and knowing how to write your ratios is super important because that's how we're going to be... Um, doing our conversions when we do actual math, when we start timesing and multiplying numbers. But just for right now, just focus on how to actually write the ratios. Guys, I hope this helped. If it did, click that subscribe button. We got tons of more conversion factors and we got those, the math conversion factors questions coming your way. So you don't want to miss out. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys all in the next question. Bye-bye now.